Uh, Alex has got the three radio licenses, technician, general, extra, and general, right? So he's one of our master radio, uh, amateur radio people. So anyway, this was an exhibit that he did for May for a tag class at a school. And uh, we were hoping that they'd start a drone club. They were supposed to start a drone club, and we and he was going to be part of that. Uh, as far as we know, they haven't started it, but hopefully, maybe in the spring semester, they will. But he's going to tell you about his experience with the drones, and this is his experience. So, talk. Into the mic. Into the mic. Don't be afraid of it. So, I don't really have much, but my project was how drones work and what they can do. And the first thing I, um, I did was I have the general rules for flying drones. And the main ones are to select a safe site to fly where there aren't that many people. And then, do, and then that you can't fly within five miles of an airport. And that, well, one of the things um, that Bob was talking about that you didn't know for the recreational, rec yeah, recreational flying is that the most you must register register a drone if it's over five and a half, no, no, five point five pounds. And then the next few he they were already mentioned that you must have it under four hundred feet and that it has to be kept in line of sight. And this one they didn't um, say, but it's never fly at night. And then the last one is respect others' pri privacy by not taking pictures without their permission. In the middle, I have that the drones could be used for the film industry photography, recreation, real estate pictures, emergency services, and military uses. And I have two of the drone, one of them I've worked with, the other one I just got so that I could use it to, for this to show on here. And the one that I worked with is the code drone, which is programmable. It used to work good, but I don't know what happened to it, and it, and for some reason it just ended up going straight as soon as it took off. And then the on the other side I have the Alfie Plus, and underneath uh, one each of them I have a picture. This side it's it's a drone being used for a search and rescue, and it's the wide angle. View view. And then on this side, you may not be able to see it, but I'll manage to. You, you still might not, but it's the drone view of Lost Plane with, with the drone zooming in. On this side, on top of the code drone, I have the different parts of it. And uh, my house, I have a different top side, which has a camera. And this, you can take everything apart, in which means you could take off the guard, the propeller guards. And that truly makes it unsafe for whenever you're flying near people or inside. So, I wouldn't recommend taking off the propeller guards. And then in the middle underneath the things that they, the drones could be used for is a little article I wrote about an aerial view of your fields. And it's just giving a small part of what drones could do for agricultural. And that's all I have. <laughs> 